It's Tuesday, October 1st, 2024, and in this video, we're going to talk about the entire month of October and what we can expect across the United States. Additionally, we are, of course, going to be talking about the tropics because that's the most interesting thing that's going on right now. We've got a couple of different storms that we're watching in the main development region, and unfortunately, we still have that pesky little system that's trying to pop up down there in the Caribbean and then eventually move up into the Gulf of Mexico, and we've got a lot more information about that today. But first, before we get into that, I want to give you another update and also thank you again for going to the yallsquad.org and making a tax deductible contribution to our 501c3 nonprofit organization. We've been able to raise a pretty good amount of funds to help the people of North Carolina, Tennessee, Georgia, South Carolina, and Florida. Yesterday, we loaded up about $20,000 worth of Starlinks and gift cards to pay for unlimited data with them. We put them on a plane and went to Asheville, North Carolina, handed them off to the United Cajun Navy and several other local officials to then put them in remote areas. We're starting to see power and cell service return to some downtown areas in the North Carolina zone, but there's still people on top of mountains and in valleys that don't have service. So that's where we're focusing right now. Additionally, storm chaser Caleb Beecham is on his way with a big truck full of supplies. We've got another crew going to South Carolina with thousands and thousands of dollars worth of generators. And basically we're just on the phone 24 seven. We haven't been sleeping much, trying to figure out who needs what because we've got a lot of resources thanks to you. So we're going to keep being out there. We're going to keep helping people. So once again, thank you for allowing us to help people and the yallsquad.org if you want to make a contribution. Now, here's the latest on Tropical Storm Kirk, which is the most impressive storm we have in the Atlantic right now. And in fact, it's going to be a major hurricane this weekend. I think that there's a chance that this even gets up to Category 4 status, which is pretty unusual for this part of the ocean ocean this time of year. A lot of times if we're going to see a strong hurricane in October, it happens way farther to the west. So another interesting thing to point out here about how anomalously warm the waters have been out here in the Atlantic to support this. But the good news is, is once again, I, I don't think that this is going to impact anyone. It's going to stay way out to sea. It's going to be a fish storm essentially. But this is what it looks like on satellite and it's really starting to get its act together. So I certainly don't doubt the fact that this will eventually be a category three or category four storm out here in the Atlantic. So it'll be fascinating to watch that. Also, we've got lots more waves coming off of Africa that might pose a problem as far as new tropical development goes, but nothing to worry about right now. Now, how about that system in the Caribbean? What's the latest on it? Watch all that moisture down there in the Gulf of Mexico. It's going to be seeping into the coastal areas of Louisiana, Texas, Alabama, Mississippi, the Florida Panhandle, and especially the peninsula of Florida. I do expect that somebody's going to get too much rain in this area. It's going to be pretty isolated and it's going to cause some flash flooding problems. So make sure that you're aware of that. Outside of that, this tropical system is really not showing any signs of development beyond a big rainmaker. Okay, so that's good news. As we go out here to Monday, October 7th, we do see a low pressure system out here in the Gulf and we do see it approaching the Florida Panhandle, which is something that has been really consistent with the models, but we don't see a hurricane. We don't even see a tropical storm. We just see a tropical rainmaker, and we're going to hope that that continues to be the case. The most interesting thing, honestly, on uh, Monday here is this big uh, trough that's kind of amplified a lot over the past couple of model runs. This didn't look this intense, you know, yesterday, but this would be a nice little shot of very cool air coming into the Great Lakes region. It might even lead to some snow in the Great Lakes region and then into the Northeast as we go later into the day on October 7th. But on the other side of this big trough is a huge ridge, right? We've got very warm temperatures and very dry air that's going to be dominating over here in the West starting today all the way through uh, early next week. And this is actually going to cause some unique problems with fires, right? So we've got a critical fire weather outlook out here for Montana and South Dakota, and then an elevated fire weather situation for most of Montana all the way down into extreme northeastern portions of Colorado. So wildfires are going to be a problem out here as we get
get those 20 to 30 mile an hour wind gusts associated with the high pressure system and relative humidity values are going to be very very low it's very dry out there and that's going to cause some problems so let's go even further into the future once again our tropical rainmaker is going to bring a significant amount of rain to the florida peninsula maybe even uh, southeast georgia and southern south carolina you guys might have to be concerned about some flash flooding problems associated with this but uh, eventually this is going to get out of our hair and if we don't see any sort of uh, intensification with that system i don't think that we're going to think about it much after next week what we're going to be kind of locked into after next week is just the really nice weather <laughs> that we're going to be having um, unfortunately i know the vast majority of the lower 48 here is in a drought and we probably want the rain but man this is going to be some really enjoyable fall weather for a lot of americans for october so uh, let's look on the bright side the weather pattern over the next couple of weeks looks bizarrely normal okay like there's nothing crazy going on anywhere there's nothing anomalous it's just october and it's honestly the craziest thing is how boring it's going to be so i'm super thankful for that and i'm sure a lot of you guys are too now we are going to get some decent moisture up here into the four corners region in uh, arizona southern california which is also a welcome thing as we go towards the middle of october we're going to continue to see these little shots of cold air come into the northeast of a lot uh, as we go into the middle of october which is once again very normal we expect that this time of year the most abnormal thing i guess is is, is going to be the huge ridge back here and the heat that comes along with that and the dry weather and we're probably going to see a lot of wildfires as a result of that but for the most part we're all having fun in the sun out here until these troughs become a little bit more amped up and and i do think that that's going to happen especially after the middle of october we're going to start to see some deeper dips in that jet stream and some cooler air is going to come farther south and that'll spark severe thunderstorms and that will spark some snow here's those temperature anomalies over the next little bit watch that tropical rainmaker really keep temperatures uh, very cool in the south and east, uh, especially once it merges with that next shot of cold air that's coming in. We're going to be quite below average through a lot of the eastern U.S. And then it's very obvious <laughs> where the ridge is in the west as we get into Tuesday, October 8th. The temperatures are honestly going to be really diverse across the country on October 9th. We're talking about maybe 30 degrees below normal around Valdosta, Georgia, and 40 degrees above normal up here towards uh, central portions of Minnesota. So those are actually pretty extreme anomalies. But that's it like they're not organized in a way that's going to cause any sort of big storms or anything we're worried about the wildfires up here but other than that it's just going to be it's going to feel nice 40 degrees above average in minnesota in october is a nice day so um as we continue to move forward you can see that the pattern is going to remain mostly the same the biggest change starts to come into view around october 17th where we might see once again another trough coming in that brings cooler air farther into the south central u.s but man, right now, this is all I have to report to you. Some typical fall weather on the way. Looking even farther into the future, got some big time warm temperatures dominating the central US. We are probably gonna see a period of time where that warmth and those ridges actually propagate a little bit farther to the east. So we're having intermittent normal and below normal temperatures over here, in the southeast and in the northeast. We might actually see a period of time where we're much warmer than average the farther east you go towards the end of October, but that's quickly gonna be replaced in November, it looks like. We're gonna enter a pattern that is completely opposite of what we're dealing with in October. October, where I think that we're going to see several shots of much cooler air, not of the normal kind, right? Where we actually are probably going to see an anomalously cool November. And of course, that's way out in La La Land. That could change, but that's what the pattern supports right now. Here's the official monthly temperature outlook for the United States from the Climate Prediction Center. This is for October, okay, the whole month. And it looks pretty similar to what we just talked about. We're above average out here in the West. We're probably going to be a little bit below average in the extreme southeastern. United States, but if you count the couple shots of warm air that's going to come in, everything kind of normalizes. So we've got equal chances of seeing above or below average temperatures in the, in the southeast. So that's what the month of October is going to look like temperature wise. What about precipitation? Once again, unfortunately, a lot of people who could use the rainfall are not going to see it. We're way below average with our precipitation out here in the plains over towards the front range. We could really use some rain out here in the eastern part of the Ohio Valley on the other side of the 
Appalachian Mountains, the, the side that didn't get flooded in Helene, no rain in sight of significant value, unfortunately. All the rain over the next month is going to be happening down here in the southeast, especially across the Florida Peninsula. And that's pretty much all of the weather talk that I have today. Thank you so much for watching, and a huge shout out to everybody that has uh, went over to the allsquad.org and donated. You're probably tired of hearing me talk about it right now, but guys, we're really helping out there, and every time we talk to a local official or a, a person that's been impacted, they're so grateful for what we're doing. I just want to remind everybody that we're grateful for you, and the uh, option is still there to contribute, and we're going to have tons of updates out there on Twitter and YouTube and all that stuff, so thanks for watching. Hopefully, I won't see you for a couple of days. Um, I'm going to try to not make a video tomorrow if there's no developments, okay? So if there is something different going on, then you'll see me. If not, then I'm going to try to take a, a little bit of a breather here before we move into whatever the next thing is, okay? Subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Ooh.